Number three in the cognitive distortions playlist is the backfire or the reinforcement bias. <clears throat> this one is, uh, you got to watch this in yourself. Uh, I'm trying to put the ones you'd watch uh, for in yourself to unveil faulty thinking early in the list, but uh, uh, they all apply. Always be looking for these in yourself. They're really easy to spot in others, but this one uh, is, is uh, definitely one to spot in yourself. This is what happens when you get information that challenges a core belief. Ironically, uh, you think that would open your mind up a little bit, and you might think of yourself, well, I'm open-minded if I had evidence that contradicted it. But it turns out uh, there is a common cognitive distortion called a backfire or reinforcement bias where when you get negative information about something you believe strongly, it'll cause you to believe that even more strongly. Uh, so as you get caught in kind of a little a little trap, right? <clears throat> so remember that uh, these, these cognitive distortions are the bread and butter of civilization. The civilization is a process, and the way that we all are kept civilized is by the people that understand how you work. They know these biases. They use these uh, to exert influence and uh, frame forcing on you, which we'll get to in the list. Um, <clears throat> this is, you run the risk of being caught in an echo chamber. If you get information that contradicts what you already believe or have determined to be true, you need to be self-aware. Um, Uh-oh, do does, does this feel like an attack on me personally? Uh, it's not. I need to set that aside and kind of explore that and then logically or rationally uh, come to a conclusion and try to control the emotional uh, reaction uh, that you're going to get called a backfire or reinforcement bias. So when you hear something that is not what you believe to be true and it feels like a personal attack, that's this bias at work. So uh, be on guard for that one.